This is how you reason your way to the correct test answer, thinking in extremes. If the question is asking you to change a variable by 2% and you're not sure what will happen next, hit pause. Don't think about a 2% change, think about a 1000% change. This provides much more clarity as to what smaller changes could mean directionally, which is especially helpful for physics, chemistry, and math tests. For example, an object with a mass of 4 kilograms is accelerating at 5 meters per second squared under a constant applied force. If the mass of the object is increased by 15%, while the applied force remains constant, what is the approximate percentage change in the object's acceleration? If you don't remember force equals mass times acceleration, you can still arrive at the correct answer by using real-world examples and thinking in extremes. What if the mass were a thousand times bigger? What if it were a thousand times smaller? If you kick a soccer ball, and all of a sudden it weighs 10,000 times more than a normal soccer ball, it's obviously going to move a lot slower. Even though you may not remember the specific equation, you can reason through it by thinking in extremes. The next time you're stuck on a test question, consider the options in the most extreme terms to exaggerate the possible outcomes and reason your way to the correct answer.